Ooh. Hey guys, welcome to a new game called uh, We Never Left. Okay. Cool. I kind I like this. Uh. Hmm. Oh no! No, no head, Bob. Okay. Anyway, I like this uh, <laughs> little DOS-like start screen. All right. Uh, parting words. Huh, weird. Okay. Uh, let's check it out. We never left, huh? Hey, the a phone from like the '80s. <laughs> Actually, probably late '80s, early '90s. This game features autosave. Okay. Okay. Very long loading. Ooh, a cutscene. What is that on the wall? Is that a plant or is that like a creature? Ooh. Hmm. Oh dear. Bad joke. Definitely has a big 80s vibe, doesn't it? Even the music. That's probably not good. You know, it's been a long time since we had an intro like this. Is that a, a hand mounted? Hey, axe! Is that a hand mounted to the wall of the sword? I probably should have read the description of this game. Um, I'm not sure what it is now. I, should, like, I, I usually try to go in very blind. Oh, man. Do I gotta hit something? Oh no, I just okay. Please leave your message after the tone. Uh, hello, this is William, and you don't know me, but your cousin Michael works for me at Claustra Studios, and he has not shown up to work at all this week, and nobody in the office has heard from him. So of course uh -oh. I stopped by his house to see if he was okay, and his car was in the driveway, and I swear I thought I saw someone walk by the attic window. But nobody answered the door. Um, but I did find a note on the door, which is why I'm calling you. And it just has your name, number, and a message that says, finish the game. So, um, you know, Michael's known around the office for being uh, a little bit off. Hey. But this is strange, like really strange even for him. And, you know, as I'm sure you know, he typically keeps very to himself. But he has talked a little about you. And how you guys used to write the uh, uh, choose your own adventure stories together. So, you know, I hope you know what this all means. And of course, I hope Michael is okay, but we really need to get in touch with him. So, when you get in touch with him, please tell him to call us at the office. Uh, okay, thanks so much. Bye bye. Okay, was there a little uh, clown on a tricycle involved in this? Uh, if I freaking use his text adventure gameplay. Oh. Interesting. Okay. Oh, so I'm a smoker, apparently. Alright. Is that a note? Can I read that? Oh. Michael gave me this house key years ago. I don't know why, but he insisted I keep it. We haven't spoken in years. I should get some lights on in here. Okay. Well, that's not here. Uh, ah, here we go. Ah, it was a plant. Okay. Now, what does the note say? 
Oh, wow. Okay. Dr. Miller suggested that I start writing my thoughts into a journal. According to her, it can help me sort through my more difficult thoughts. I hate that term. Difficult thoughts. I don't think wanting to create my best work is something to be thought of as difficult. Maybe I'll stick to, to it, but I don't really see that happening. I just got back home from work and I'm so sick of being there. No one understands my vision. Okay. I thought when I decided to work for, in computer games that I would be able to stretch my legs a bit, finally bring my art to the world. But no, they're all so tame. They say that my ideas are too dark. Alright, it's a little worrying. It's not too dark. It's horror. Oh, okay. There's a difference. They want to make games about dragons and knights and fantasy quests. I frankly don't care about saving some princess. It's shallow. According to them, horror isn't marketable. That is a lie. We need to meet our quotas. No one will want to play something that's this twisted. Screw them. I'll do it myself. Oh, okay. Well, he... Uh, oh, he has an Artari. Oh, looks like he's a good enough time waster. Fire missile. Okay. Cool. Why? Okay, it's kind of fun. Is there a point to this? I wonder. Okay, we got a star. So I'm gonna I'm gonna leave that there. I got 221. If you want to play this, let me know how high you got. I don't know if we need to do this. I'm gonna back out of that. And I, yeah, I, I shortened that down for you. Okay. Oh. All here. Photograph. Picture of a living room. Never seen this place before. It looks like only lit with a camera flash. A photograph of an old house. If I want to listen, I'll need something to play this on. Ooh, a note. Okay. I've been, I've been at work pretty much pretty relentlessly trying to make something great. A lot of the work has just been watching movies, Halloween, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, The Shining, etc. They're fine, but it needs something else. I'm not sure what. When I watch Jason Voorhees chasing campers, I feel nervous. Sure, but scared. I feel tense and I feel worried for the character, but I know that I'm okay. So I don't feel that horror. I don't feel like I'm in any danger. It feels so disingenuous. Plus, it really is, it, it's really difficult to capture that visual aspect with the tech I have available. All I really have is text, text, and more text. I'm not much of a reader, but maybe I should check this the check out the Shining novel. Could translate better to my games. Okay, I thought more about it. I think I was wrong. Maybe the technology won't allow much in the way of visual horror, but that doesn't mean I can't find another way. I'll keep trying. But that's, but I'm, but I think I'm onto something. Whoa. March 18th. I've got it. Okay. 
Ooh, we got a five. I should probably write that down, huh? Alright, so we got a five on this note. Ten would work. It would be awesome. Five. Or it could be an S. Well, hey, maybe if I read it, it will say what it is, definitely. If I actually hit the right button, let's right click. No. Okay. Ooh, new key. Bedroom key. Why did Michael lock up his bedroom? I don't know. Let's find out. Keep... Oh, feed the cat. No? Huh? Looks like he... He's fed. Why is the garage door all boarded up? Something seems off. You're just now catching this? Huh. There's a cat. With glasses. Oh yeah, definitely 80s colors. There's a light switch. I'm assuming I can't read that note until I turn the lights on. I really need to mess with this right now. I really don't need to mess with this right now. Okay. Can I read this in the dark? Yeah. Dr. Miller says I'm using the journal wrong. She says I need to get out of my emotions and my anxieties. Not, I'm not disturbed. I'm just passionate. She doesn't get it. Nobody gets it. I'm on the very on the verge of creating the next evolution of horror entertainment. People are just saying my brain is effed up for having those horrid thoughts. <laughs> it's not like I think that way personally. It's De Dario Argento, sadistic, because he directed a movie where dancers are getting sacrificed to a cult. No. People call him a genius. Um, how is what I'm doing any different? I'm making a character. Multimedia. That's the key. I figured it out. I like where this is going. I've got a plan in place. I just need to execute. Everyone's going to see that I'm a real artist. This game is going to be different than anyone has ever seen. My magnum opus. Okay. Is there a number on this one? Four. Yeah, so we got five and a four. Okay. Can I put this in there? No? Okay. It's just a radio. Where's the cat food? Oh, what's that? Why? Why do we care? Do I gotta do laundry? Oh, it's a... Uh... Oh, yeah, it's actually working. 10 after 12, okay. This one, this one didn't have a number on it, did it? No. And that was the only other note. That one there was a 5. And we had the 4 over there, okay. We got a star in that game. I wonder if that means something. What a bullet hole. Why is there people in the bathroom door? Oh, there's people in all the doors. That's not the bathroom. Nice ship. All right. Oh, the bathroom. Oh. Okay. What is that noise in here? Oh. What the hell is that sound? What is it doing here? Okay. So we... Oh, no. Um, everything's in place. I haven't slept in days, but this is going to be worth every second of exhaustion. I keep getting calls from work asking where I've been. I don't see the point in answering. They never understood. So why would they start now? I'm about to make a better game than any of those guys could ever imagine. There are a lot of risks involved, but this is some really good stuff. Time to create true horror. I've picked my playtester. Uh-oh, that's probably me, because that's why he gave me the key. I needed someone special. Someone who f I feel that if anyone would understand the importance of what I'm doing. He didn't like my ideas much when we were just writing stories, but I've matured. Uh-oh. 
I know how to execute. Everything is perfect. All right, now we have a six. So we have five, six. This is five, four, six. Doesn't mean I'm getting it in the right order, but you know. All right, so now we can go listen to this tape. I think the first one we came across was in here. Yeah. We are recording. This is Dr. Miller. It is March 20th, Why does he have these tapes? This is supposed to be like I'm speaking the doctor's Michael notes. Krieger, age 32. How are you doing today, Michael? Actually, um, I'm doing pretty good. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I think I've got something figured out. What do you mean by that? Like, uh, you remember last session how I talked about feeling stuck? I think I found a way out. Oh, and, and how's that? I decided to make my own game. Something that no one at the company would understand. It's gonna be amazing. And, uh, what does everyone at work think uh, about this? I think I, I detect a little fear in her voice. I haven't gone in a, in a few days. And why is that? I just... I, I, I feel stifled there. Now I go back, but... I need this time to work on my work. I need to focus on this one thing. Well, I'm glad you found something. But please remember, you need to take care of yourself. Too. I know, I, I know. Trust me, this is all gonna be great. Well, sure. it's... It's great that you found something. Yeah, don't I know it. And are you still writing in that journal? Oh, yeah, yeah. Would I be uh, allowed to see it? Mm, not just yet. It's, it's, it's not quite finished yet. Finished? Yeah, it's not done. I'm not... I'm not sure what you mean. Um, the journal isn't exactly something you finish. It's... More like a continuous stream of thought. I know, just, just... I'll let you look soon, okay? Okay. Okay. Yeah, alright. What's this one? And... Recording. Okay, this is Dr. Miller. It's currently... February 12th, 1983, and I'm talking with Michael Krieger, age 33. 32. Right, sorry, age 32. How are you feeling today, Michael? I mean, I've been worse. Been up to anything exciting? No, not really. I've been watching a lot of movies, but that's about it. Oh, what movies? Mostly horror movies. Oh, I can't. I can't watch those. I'm a bit too jumpy. Um... Why? Why horror movies? I guess the feeling I'm trying to get... It's like I'm so numb. Maybe if I find the right movie, it'll make me... ...feel something, but it's like... It's like none of them are enough. That's a little worrying. Mm. I can see how that can be frustrating. Yeah. Um, uh, have you, uh, uh, been writing in a journal, like I suggested? Oh, yeah. I actually think I'm taking to it a bit more than I expected. Well, that's great to hear. Is there a reason you've had a change of heart about it? I know you weren't super thrilled last time we talked. Yeah. Yeah, I think I found a use for it. Well, that's really great to hear. So, um, I did want to ask about where we left off last. I know you don't like to talk about it, but are you having any more thoughts of hurting others? Hurting yourself? I, listen, I I know what I wrote on the papers. It, it sounds bad, but it's more fantasy than anything. It, it's not like I'm planning on doing anything. They're just, they're just stories. Hmm. I understand that, but if they continue coming to mind, then... I promise I'm okay. Okay. Time's actually moving forward. Interesting. I thought I was just going to keep rotating. That's cool. All right. But the times are all off. Like the one in this room over here, what was it? 12 o'clock exactly? Yeah. And then this one here is quarter of 12. And this one's actually moving. So it's quarter after. 
Weird. All right, anyway, let's check out that next tape. What is this? Can I touch anything else? No? Okay. 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 Oh, actually, I actually have a full on journal. Okay. So everything I read stays in here. Oh, I missed a something. Oh, and it says uh, the numbers on it. Yeah, five. Okay. So if we go in order, we got the five, the four, and the six. But we missed something somewhere? No! Okay. How do I get out of here? Tab. Okay. Don't hit escape. I thought I had to start all over. Alright. So we missed a note somewhere? Or something? Could be in the bedroom. Just do a quick glance through everything, just to make sure, and then we'll go and hit it up the bedroom. Oh, another clock with this one's also correct. Okay, so that one's moving. Alright, so I'm assuming the other note that we miss is in the bedroom. Music? Why? Ah, oh, cat stuff. Cool. Where's the cat? Picture of a woman reading in her living room from an outside window. Who say- Oh my god, did I kidnap my therapist? Well, not me, but the guy that- in the house I'm in? That's what it totally feels like, doesn't it? Hmm, this could come in handy. How to play text games. Keep your phrases simple. Some commonly used commands are examine and go to, followed by your target. While these are far, by far not your only commands, they may help if you are unsure what to do. Example, go to to the door. You must specify if you like to use an item on something by typing your desired action followed by this object in an item. This format is action, object, with item. Unlock the door with the key. Okay. Do not use punctuation in your commands. If you feel you've completed the task in an area, you can always type go back. Okay. 
Are we gonna play a text game? Is that what's going on here? My therapist, or this guy's therapist is in here, isn't it? Oh, we got the, we got, hold on. Full five. Four. Six. Oh. Another one of Michael's games. Was this one he's talking about? Massacre, 1983, by Michael Krieger. Okay. Is this some sort of clue? Why is it written front and back? Front, have you been seeing everything you need or have you been missing something? Okay, so do we have all the... Oh, we're still missing seven. Huh. A little model figurine, whatever. Okay, I guess I guess we're playing the game now. Fascinating. Massacre, 1983. You feel heavy with both the weight of your cargo and your conscience. As you bare toes... What was all that red? As your bare toes graze the asphalt... Ooh, ow. Beneath the... Through your worn shoes, you march onward. You know exactly where to go next. The axe you lugged behind you made screeching noises as the metal grinded across the street. You arrive, arrive at your destination, the old Miller house. A quaint, rustic home with two floors. There's a door. Directly in front of you, beside you, on your left is an old car. To your right is a path to the backyard. Alright. Uh, go to the door. You approach the front door. It's a beautiful shade of red. The architecture sets the scene perfectly. What's happening feels like a true moment. Use... Axe on door. No, too much noise. Go. Oh, well, here. Try the door. Um, open the door. Door's locked. Go back. Hold left click, okay. Alright, um... Look at... Old car. You take a look at the car. It's an old rusted sedan. There's a story to this car that you can't quite put your finger on. The smell is one of old scrapyard and metalwork. You look through the window. The keys are sitting inside. Take keys. Take the keys. Um, open car door. The car door is locked. Okay. Break car window. All right. <laughs> okay. Uh, use. Axe on car window. The glass shatters with a loud crash. Not too loud, you hope. You appear inside the vehicle. There are a set of keys left out on the dash. Take the keys. You grab the keys from the car. All right, go back. Yeah, you, all right, hold left. But it didn't work. Alright. 
go to the door. Okay. Um, unlock the door with the keys. None of these keys seem to fit the lock, okay? Go back. Alright, uh, go to the back yard? You move quality to the backyard. It's not as spacious as you would have thought. But the grass is trimmed perfectly. The patio is dimly lit by a dying light fixture. The back door sits at the end of the short stone path. Go to the back door. Uh, you approach the back door. It's a flimsy screen door that stands in front of a more sturdy wooden one. Alright. Uh, open the back door. Oh, not do door. The back door is locked. Use the keys on the back door. The door unlocks with a lovely clicking sound. This is what you've been waiting for. Uh oh. Looks like the computer tripped the circuit. There's gotta be a breaker box around here somewhere. Oh, thank God I have a flashlight. Is it to by memory? I've never seen it. Tea kettle. Someone was in here. Didn't trip. Nothing. Someone. Turn it off. Okay. I'm closing this door now. Maybe the cat did it. Alright, you step into the house. It feels almost like your own home. It's such a nostalgic structure, you can almost feel the lives that were created and lost by this house. And you want to be part of that story. You crave to be a part of that story. Directly in front of you stands a staircase leading upstairs. To your immediate left is a, is a small kitchen. Further onward, you can see the living room. Um, look in the kitchen. I'm sorry, I didn't understand. Okay, uh... Go in the kitchen. Go left. Go upstairs. There. You creep slowly up the stairs. You try with every ounce of willpower you can muster not to let your axe bump up the stairs. This music. Okay. The smile on your face is almost painful. The excitement is unbearable. You shake in eagerness. Up the stairs you see only a straight path to a bedroom. Look in the bedroom. Uh, okay. Go in the bedroom. Go. Hmm. Okay. Enter the bedroom. There. Walking inside, you step with such care not to make any spots on the floor reek. You see an elderly couple laying in bed. They also they look so at peace. The man sleeps comically with his mouth hanging open. The woman lays flat on her stomach. You want to look closer. Look closer. You approach the bed. You can see the man's chest rise up and down so slowly. So, so slowly. It's your time. Time to do what? Well, I have an axe. So, I think we know what time it is. It's clobbering time. No, sorry. Um, use the axe? Okay, thank God. Uh, actually, no, I probably have to do something different. What do you want to do? No. 
Um, kill them. Oh, you can't do this with your hands. Oh, okay. Kill them with the axe. You raise the axe above your head. You remember it being heavier. This feels right. You grip the base of the wooden handle with the greatest of care before flinging the metal wedge down on the man's stomach. His eyes jolt open as he flings himself for a moment trying to sit upright. Your smile... I just heard something. Hurts. The woman wakes up immediately. She's clearly distraught but is unable to make a sound. Her husband is still alive, choking on his own blood. You walk up to the woman slowly. She is so helpless. You raise the axe over your head with the same care and thrust it down between the woman's eyes. Her warm blood splatters your face. This feeling. You could bathe in it. Uh, it's a rush to the likes of which you've never experienced. This is your family now. You're a part of the story. The man stops choking. Okay. Someone's knocking. Hello? Oh. Oh, there's f bloody footprints. Oh, there's bloody footprints. This is Dr. Miller. I'm speaking with Michael Krieger, age 32. It is April 16th, 1983. How have you been doing, Michael? Michael, I asked, how are you? Don't act like you care. Ooh, he's Excuse losing it. Me? I know you don't. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not sure where this is coming from. <laughs> I found the thing that makes me feel better. And you tell me it's wrong. I... Uh-oh. Michael? I understand your frustration, but this project you're working on seems unhealthy. I understand you're passionate about this horror game, but some of the things you're Is it a game? seem sadistic, and I think it would be best if Don't we... Don't you dare tell me what's best for me, you fucking bitch! Oh! Um, I... I think we should take a step back and... No, I'm done with this. I found what makes me feel better, and I'm gonna stick with it. I'm about to create a masterpiece in gaming. Hell, I'm, I'm creating a masterpiece of any art form. Why would you want to take that away from me? I'm sorry, Michael, but I don't think this is good for me. Don't pretend like you know what's good for me. You know I've spent my whole life just wanting to create. I just want so bad to let the world know what's going on inside my brain, and I finally found the message I want to send. I'm gonna be the horror auteur of the fucking millennium. Do you know what it's like to be told your entire life that your ideas are shit? It's too dark. It's disturbed. It's not. It's art. And I'm ready to show the world what my art can be. Okay, so Michael Krieger is a uh, Buffalo Bill. Puts a lotion on the skin. Okay. You trek along the road in the dead of night. The cold air fills your lungs as you creep onward. A trail of blood streaks behind you like the slime of a snail. You can't shake the grin on your face. The axe you drag behind you makes a clinking sound as it hits the concrete with every one of your steps. Why can't he not have it drag? Is he weak? Wait, well, he picked it up. Anyway. Um, it's the most beautiful rhythm you ever heard. Okay, that, okay. You come upon an all too familiar home, a single level house with an attic for storage. So many hours spent inside, work, 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 never enough. However, this house is not empty, he's here. To your left is an unfamiliar car. Looking ahead, you see the front door. Uh, look at the car. 
You approach the car. It's nicer than yours, and you hate it. The interior is clean and put together. You're such a slob. Disgusting. The tires look freshly pumped, full of air. Pop the tires. You can't do that with your bare hands. Uh, pop the tires with the axe. <laughs> okay. You thrust the wedge. You thrust the wedge of the axe into the car's tires. They let out a satisfying pop and hiss. He's not going anywhere. Did I just ruin my escape? Okay. Go back. Okay, um... Look in the car. Okay, um... What was the other option? Okay. Look at the front door. You walk to the front door. It's been left unlocked. You know what? You know that he's distracted inside. Go in I. I could have sworn I just heard something. You step into the living room. You stand inside for a moment and allow the memories to flood back. It's horrid. To your right is the laundry room. Further in front of you is the dining room. To your left is the hallway. This is this house, isn't it? Um. Go to the right. Uh, go in the dining room or well, let's go to the laundry room. Okay, did I spell it wrong? L A U. No, it's spelled right. Okay. Um. All right, let's go to the dining room. The dining room. So many meals eaten here alone. You're so tired of seeing this place. The living room is to your left. To your right is the kitchen. This is totally... That ho this house. Go in the kitchen. Enter the kitchen. Oh, that's it. I gotta hit enter. Okay. The kitchen is just as you remember. It feels so nostalgic. So many hours spent reheating frozen TV dinners. Ahead of you is the dining room. Behind you is coffee. And to your right is the garage room. Oh! Look at garage door. You stand in front of the garage door. The wood boards you had added still stand sturdy against the wall. Maybe it's time for him to see. Use the axe on the wood Ports. You put your force in the great swing. The boards all split by your hand. The garage is open. Come and see. I don't want to. But I'm going to. But, you know, curiosity killed a cat. Which we haven't seen a hair of. How the hell? No. Oh. Well, what am I doing? Why do I do that? Oh! It says, Oh, it's the cat. I thought it was a squirrel. I was like, oh, it's just a squirrel, but then it's a cat. Michael's cat, Sabrina. Her entrails are splayed out. On the hood of his car, I feel sick. You know what? I feel a little sick too.
Uh oh. Dear God. Part of the art. Oh, there was a window here the whole time? How did I not notice that? Those trees. Anyway. I'm sorry, uh, excuse me. Oh, there's four bodies in here. Photograph. The foot of a woman sleeping. She's clueless. Oh, no. The attic key. This is also sort of sick game. I don't even know what if I want to go up there. And I just realized I am standing on a body. Okay. Okay. Okay, why can't we close the door? Why can't we just leave? We just saw four bodies. We'll leave. Can I leave? No. Well, my tires are popped anyway, so. This is dumb. I'm, this is where I die. I'm gonna die here. This is how we die. Axe to the back of the head. Right here. Hmm. I thought we'd be dead. Oh, look! Two more! Play me. Okay. If he says, I want to play a game, that'd just be awesome, but it's still. Hello, this is Michael Krieger, age 32. And today we're speaking with, drum roll please, Dr. Miller. How are you feeling today, doctor? Dr. Miller seems to be a bit shy at the moment, but, uh... I'm sure she'll warm up once she gets settled at the house. Her husband, on the other hand... is being a bit more... a bit more difficult. And the game is almost ready to go. I uh, just need, uh, a few more, um, <laughs> participants to act as props, and then, uh, everything will be set up perfectly. I know we haven't talked for some years now, but knowing my playtester, huh? He'll be here as soon as work gets out that I'm gone. Someone should... Someone should come looking for me soon enough. I should probably put that note out. And hey, if you're listening to this, I, I really want to thank you for everything. I know you're probably... Probably a bit freaked out right now. Understatement. But, uh, I wouldn't be doing my job if you weren't. I just know that of anyone, you'd understand the importance of what I'm doing. Now I know, I, I know you weren't a fan of my ideas when we were kids, but I, I can only assume you've matured since then, right? Ah, what am I saying? I know you'll understand. <laughs> okay, okay, I need to get this finished up. <laughs> Street. <laughs> Goodbye. Okay, so that's all the notes. We have all the notes. Okay. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> you step into the living room. You feel every moment of anticipation rush past you. As you become aware that you're creating your masterpiece, you are a true artist in every sense of the word. To your left is the hallway, to your immediate right is the laundry room, and to the right is the dining room. What? Left? There's two rights. Oh, ahead and to the right. Okay, I gotcha. Alright, um... Let's go. I, I, I'm so curious if they'll... If, be here. Okay, we're gonna go to the hallway. Uh, enter the hallway. You snip 
When you step into the hallway, the carpet is dull. The walls are bland. To your left is the bathroom. Ahead is to your right is the bedroom. Directly in front of you is a ladder leading to the attic. Behind you is the living room. Um, enter the bathroom. The blue wallpaper in this bathroom feels like it's part of past life. You can't wait for that little, that life to be over. There's not much for you to do here. Behind you is the hallway. Go back. Uh, enter the hallway. Alright, um, enter the attic. I spelled attic wrong, didn't I? Yeah, it's just two T's. Enter the attic. You shouldn't go up yet. You need to make, sh make this just right. Set the scene. Dim the lights. The hallway is behind you. Oh, I want to turn the lights off. Okay. Go back. Uh, enter the hallway. Wouldn't this technically mean that I'm already in the attic? Anyway. Um, all right, enter the living room. Okay, uh, so we need to go laundry room, right? Yeah, enter the laundry room. You sniff through the doorway into the laundry room. The smell of the detergent fills your nose. More laundry will be needed to be done soon enough. A little bit of blood, you know, a lot of bleach. Uh, in front of you is the coffee room. Behind you is the living room. Enter the coffee room. The coffee room is so quaint. A small box of a small box of a room with a table of chairs. It's made to relax. Behind you is the laundry room. Beside you sits the circuit breaker. In front of you is a kitchen. Uh, turn off the circuit breaker. Oh, you flip the switch. There's a metallic click before the world becomes drenched in darkness. Everything is perfect. The laundry room is to your immediate right. Behind you is the kitchen. Uh, go back. Not bag, back. Okay. Why can I put, I can't, uh, whatever. Enter the laundry room. I never actually hiked out my death before. This is actually fascinating and terrifying. Um, enter the living room. And then it's enter the hallway. <laughs> Enter the attic. You step slowly up the attic stairs, one foot in front of the other. Each step making a subtle creaking sound. I did hear something, I think. You pull yourself up, using an axe for leverage. All around you are your past works. None have held the same feeling as this. This is special. Directly opposite of you, across the room, is a man at the computer. You want to get closer. Go closer. Uh, get closer. Oh, God. Okay, uh, you step ever so close to the man. He appears to be sweating, shaking. All right, where are you? Um, you know, you've done it. This is your magnum opus. You feel your chest tighten with excitement. You've never felt this way in your life. It's addicting. You stand in the center of the attic with the man still in front of you. You want to get closer. Get closer. You take another step closer. The man's posture is tightened. You can almost see the hairs on the back of his neck stand on end. He's so pure, so helpless. Your mouth waters. You stand a step away from the man. Get closer. You step forward until you're nearly bumped into the man's seat. Your smile hurts so badly. You're gripping your axe so tightly that your hand begins to burn. You never felt more alive. You try your best to contain yourself, but you're verging on animalistic. It's the Fiora. 
You're sure you can feel your hot breath on his neck. You are an artistic genius. You stand right behind the man. Touch the man. Do I actually have to tell him to kill me? Hit. Myself with the axe. Okay. Kill him with the axe? You lift the axe ever so carefully over your head. You think to yourself, what the hell am I doing? We never left. No, don't do it. Did I die? Am I dead? What's happening? What is this? Oh my god! Brings a whole new meaning to I can see right through you. Okay. I'm assuming that's us. We never left. Okay, that was great. Oh, okay. Um, I don't know if there's anything special about the little uh, asteroid game thing or aliens or whatever. But I did get one star. I don't know if that means something. Um, anyway, um, that was great. If you want to check out yourself, it's down in the description. Um, apparently, there's other games that are in this like little uh, collecting bundle thing. Uh, check that out. I think it's on Steam. I don't know if I can find the link. I'll put it below. If not, you have to go to this link. Maybe you can work your way through it. I don't, I don't know. Um, but anyway, um, cool. um, thank you for watching and hanging out. Uh, this was a great one. Um, thank you, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.